How's it going internet? John from Zebra Technologies here back again with another video about device staging. Today we're going to go all the way up to expert mode and do an operating system update using a hidden technique that I'm going to guarantee will make your life easier. And as always, we're going to do it using my favorite application and yours, Zebra Technologies Stage Now. I'm going to intentionally bury the lead a little bit today because there's a load of relevant sidebar information that we need to talk about to kind of help set the background for the stage now stuff that's going to come later. Before we can talk about updating an operating system, we kind of need to talk about updating operating systems. Zebra Technologies mobile computers aren't like consumer devices, and we support them to the beat of a very different drum. Zebra hardware is built to be out in the field for a long time. Most deployments stay out there for five years at least. And for as long as we've been playing this game, Zebra has been supporting our devices with industry leading hardware support offerings. We make rugged devices for mission critical applications. And because our devices are mission critical, we support them with the same level of urgency and longevity that they deserve. Our repair facilities are among the best in the world, and we pride ourselves on our ability to support our customers in their missions. When we first started off on the path of mobilizing Android for the enterprise over a decade ago now, two things became very clear to us very quickly. First off, Android releases on a consumer cadence, a new version every year, multiple patches along the way. And second, we found that Google tended to stop supporting old Android versions before most of our customers were ready to move on. So we as Zebra needed to do something to plug that gap and ensure extended software support that matched our hardware support. Moreover, we needed to do it in such a way that our customers weren't on this perpetual hamster wheel of validating and deploying OS updates to their fleet. Zebra's lifeguard for Android was born. Under lifeguard, Zebra provides operating system updates throughout the mainstream Google supported lifespan of an Android version that meets and often beats the requirements that Google has spelled out for the Android Enterprise Recommended program. Because of the mission criticality of Zebra devices, we'll never push an operating system update blindly over the air. From our support portal, you're able to download, test and deploy our patches on your terms and once you know that there won't be any negative effects. Honestly, we don't expect any of our customers to apply every patch as we release them. We make our lifeguard patches optional and cumulative, specifically to make life easier for IT administrators. It's far easier to budget for a twice yearly sanity check and patch and whack any critical issues on the head as they're identified than it is to find yourself in this never ending cycle of test and validation with multiple application owners across your business. So under lifeguard, Zebra also provides an extended operating system transition period so that you've got more time to plan for major changes between significant Android versions. With Lifeguard, you've got the breathing space to know that you remain covered should you need it while you take a more considered and strategic approach to operating system version management across your enterprise. Under Lifeguard, it's not uncommon for our customers to skip a whole Android release and go straight from Marshmallow to Oreo, for example. With this in mind, let's take a quick look at the Zebra support portal, familiarize ourselves with some operating system files, and plan for an upgrade. For this example, let's consider a customer who has a fleet of TC56s that they purchased in late 2017. They've been enforcing the original Marshmallow version of the operating system as their SOE, but now they're ready to upgrade. So what I'm showing on screen now is the download page of our support portal for the TC56. You can easily browse here from zebra.com. Here, we can see that there are three different Android versions available for the TC56. Marshmallow, Nougat, and Oreo being the most recent available OS for this device at this time. Since I'm coming from Marshmallow and I'd like to bring my fleet up to date, I'm going to skip Nougat and go straight to Oreo. If I expand out the Oreo section, I can see that there's the full image, which is the main operating system file needed to perform an update, and several patches subsequent to that main image. Remember. The patches are cumulative, so we can skip all but the most recent one of these. We still need the full image as the starting point in our transition from Marshmallow though. So let's go ahead and download the full image as well as the file for Lifeguard Update 20. And with those in hand, we're ready to finally open Stage Now again and start building out our profile. In Stage Now, we want to create another expert mode profile. Remember, because we're going to be starting from Marshmallow, 
we're gonna have a much lower MX version than we may be used to. So make sure you set that appropriately or your profile won't work. I'm gonna assume that my devices are already connected to my Wi-Fi. So the staging profile I'm going to build will only have four components. Three instances of file manager to copy the files and a power manager to perform the OS update. And if you're paying attention, you're gonna be asking why I'm planning for three file copy operations, but I've only downloaded two from the Zebra support portal. There's one final piece of dirty work that we're gonna to have to do ourselves, and it'll only take a second, and that is the little pinch of fairy dust that brings everything together and lets me apply multiple OS updates with a single barcode scan. Before we get to that though, let's push the two files that we've downloaded to our device our full update so that we can upgrade from Marshmallow to Oreo, and the most recent lifeguard patch. Make sure you pay attention to the target file names you use in both cases, because we're going to need that now. And if you're like me, and you like to use shorthand when you're copying things, you can trip yourself up here. Okay, so, you know what you're calling those files? Good. Let's open up your favorite text editor and create a new file. Now, type package, colon, followed by the full file name of the full package update file. Then press enter and type package, colon, followed by the full file name of the lifeguard patch file. Save this two line file as update.upl. It should look a little something like this. Now, back in stage now, this is the third file that we're gonna copy over to the device. You'll notice that I'm still using slash storage slash SD card zero as my destination folder. If we're dealing with much older operating systems, we might need to vary this path, but for now, I'm gonna to stick to my favorites. Now, in the power manager step, we're just gonna set the reset action to OS update, and we're going to point to the .upl file that we just copied instead of an OS update zip file. Here's the special source. By using a UPL file, we can encapsulate multiple operating system update processes into a single step. Doing the full update and lifeguard update separately adds multiple reboots and processing downtime. So when we're doing a major OS update such as this, using a UPL file simplifies the process really dramatically. If I wanted to include a factory reset at the end of this, for example, to wipe my devices after the OS update, I could do that too. I'd just have to download the factory reset file from the support portal, add it to my UPL as a final package, and then copy that across to my device before the power manager step. And it really is as simple as that. The UPL method of applying multiple operating system updates in a single step is surprisingly little known, and it makes performing major OS updates so much more simple. So hopefully you guys find it as useful as I have. As always, thanks for watching. Keep on being excellent to each other and I'll catch you guys in the next video.